Hi, this is Tim with Diesel Laptops. In this video, I want to go over the Texa IDC5 car software. And that's what environment we're going to be looking at, the car. Uh, we've previously sold the car software. If you bought truck or off-highway and you wanted to add car, we would add it to it. But now we have two new, brand new kits coming out. And they'll both feature the 11-inch uh, tablet. And they'll have the car software in there, depending on whether you want basic or supercar. And then we'll have the nano communicator box that will come in the kit. So we'll go ahead and click on the car and get started. So here you can see we have light commercial vehicles, passenger cars, and supercars. Now if you were to buy the supercar package, all these would be like so. If you only got the basic car, you would only have light commercial vehicles and passenger cars. So the difference is we're going to go into the supercar and I'll show you these. These are going to be all your high-end supercars, your sports cars that you see, your Alfa Romeo, your Aston Martin, Bentley, Bugatti, uh, your Chevrolets. Those are going to be covered, covering your Corvettes. So you can see those Corvettes there. We'll scroll down and see the rest of them. Your Dodge, that's going to be your Viper models. Your Ferrari. Your Ford is going to have the GT in there. Your Lamborghini. Your Maseratis, McLaren, Morgan, Pagani. Your Porsches will be covered under the uh, supercar. And you can see here we'll have a bunch of models in here. That 911's 882 model. And that's covered all the way to the 19 model. So you'll see the other models in there, the Spider, the 944, the 928. Boxsters, Carreras, Cayennes, they're all included in that. And then you'll also have the Rolls Royce at the bottom. So if you were just to get the basic supercar, or a basic car rather, you can click on the light commercial vehicles, and you can see the Chevys, they're going to have the Silverados here. Your Dodge is going to be Ram and your Sprinters. Your Ford will have your A-Series, F-Series, and Transits. Your Freightliner will have your Light Duty OM600 models. GMC will be your Sierras. Your Mercedes-Benz will have the Sprinters and that Metris model. And then you have the Nissan with the NV models. Your passenger cars are going to be found here. This is going to cover pretty much everything in the North American market. There'll be some other models that you see in Europe um, that'll be under here, but most of your North American models will be in here. We'll scroll down. We'll go into the Toyota. So certain manufacturers will have a ton of models in here. So you can see right here we have the 4Runner. And then as we go through, you'll see the GT, the Avalon, a lot of Camrys. Corollas, Celicas, it's just non-stop with the models in here and your models covered. So you see the Hilux, those are European trucks. Okay. So you'll see right here we're on IDC5 version 72.2. That's the latest version of car software. Uh, they've been designing this and putting this together for quite a long time. Uh, we'll go into one of the models and go through a demo real quick. So we'll go to Fiat. Scroll down here to the 500X. And then we'll pick this 1.6. So you can see this is how it's going to be set up. Now on every model is not going to look like this from Fiat or Ford or Chevy or whatever you pick. Certain models are going to have more or less information in there. You'll see on the left hand side we'll have the wiring diagrams, the technical data sheets, your technical data and checks. That'll be covered on your technical information for that model. You'll also see your global scan. You can use this to scan and see what systems are in that vehicle. You can use a vehicle maintenance, adjustments and coding, and activation tests. These are kind of like shortcuts to get to what you need to do. If you scroll down, it's going to be that same stuff. There's where you're going to be your diagnos diagnosis by systems. You can see all the systems that are going to be covered on this model. Okay, so your tire pressure, that D just means this is demo mode, so we'll go through that. So you can hit start and go through that. If you want to see what cable to use, it's going to take you to this. It's going to show you that Navigator Nano Series. This is what you're going to be connecting to. 
this Bluetooth capable little device here. And then you'll have a picture of where that connector or the OBD connector is. And then it'll have a little video that you can watch. So I'll tell you where to plug that in. Okay, so there's that OBD connector you can see. We'll connect that nano to it. We'll go into the demo and see the software a little bit. Okay, so you can see that it's going to ask you to turn on the instrument panel. We've got the key on, and then we'll select confirm. The first page is going to pop up as your false page. We don't have any. But if you did, that's where you would see those. Okay, so we'll go into parameters. You see your parameters here. If you wanted to graph those out, you just double click on that parameter and I'll show you that graph. And if you wanted to see only a certain amount of parameters, you can go to that little filter icon, that hourglass, select the parameters you want to see, and then hit the check mark, and it'll pull those parameters up. And you can also graph those out just by double clicking on them. If you wanted to clear those out, just select the hourglass again and go back to the normal parameters page. So your ECO information, that will be all listed here. Your activations, this will be your tests, anything can be done. And then your settings, you'll have these listed here. So if you select that setting, and then you see a little question mark on the side, you select that question mark, it's going to give you information on that setting, what to do. And then as you go through, it'll walk you through step by step on how to do that setting. So we have a lot of software, a lot of systems in this model. Uh, depending on each one, they may have more or less. This is the introduction to the car software. This is Tim with Diesel Laptops. Thanks for watching.